Well, hello, everybody. Um, so you probably found out a little bit about myself. We just went through an extensive study. It's not the end all of all debt studies in the last couple of weeks. And uh, you're probably at least noticing some of the things were some hurdles in my business life. Doesn't mean that they're all the hurdles that you'll face when you go into business by any means. Uh, many of you in this class have had some business experiences or a lot and uh, <clears throat> could tell me of some more. But um, I'm not saying that this is the end all to all things as far as classes either. It's um, under the title management and finance. But uh, I think it, uh, as a lower level ag finance, ag management class, it kind of gives you some of the tools to get started. And uh, <clears throat> I, I agree with uh, a lot of what many of you have said in <clears throat> some of the other videos, especially about debt and uh, the forums that were posted. Man, you're spot on. Um, you probably do need to use some debt. We use debt. Um, it does multiply, magnify your um, your risk. It backs you into a corner. It uh, limits the options that you have after you've actually signed up for for some debt. But um, <clears throat> it also enables you to take on some things that you wouldn't be able to without that debt. Um, so I just believe that for peace of mind and contentment that um, you absolutely, especially when you're getting started, is limited. Think of the initial portion or phases of your business. And I don't know what stage you're in. You might be in a growth stage or a startup stage versus a mature stage. Um, <clears throat> taking on debt in in different forms may be um, allowable in your situation. Um, just use it, use it surgically. And uh, uh, there's a whole bunch of pitfalls as Dave Ramsey has talked about that uh, can, can get you caught up in, and you can get caught up in the middle of it. Uh, we're facing some economic times that might even change how how we view some of these things so we're, we're living in extremely interesting times economically some of them we agree with some we don't but most of it we don't have a lot of empowerment over and uh, but we can control our not saying control but we have an, a very great influence on the people around us in our community and our families and that sort of thing and, and you want to be a I'm sure most of you if not all of you I'm sure want to be a positive force in all that um, so um, we're gonna talk about hiring and firing <laughs> believe it or not I had trouble on both end, both ends of that which I think is pretty common it's never mentioned in a business management class that I ever took. Um, so I've got a unit on it. Uh, it's one of those things that you'll learn the more you do it. It's a skill set that uh, will help you. I think I got pretty good at it towards the end of uh, some of the businesses that I was involved in. But... Uh, you, you got to just stay on top of it. You got to learn. Um, and you're going to learn that I basically was on the hire or looking for people all the time. Not because I needed them, but you know, those special people that are going to, you know, work like an owner within your business don't come around all that often, even if you've got lots of applicants. And so it's important to at least keep in touch with them as they do pass through. If not, hire them and create a position for them if, if need be um, at certain times. And if you have enough 
you have enough margin, then you get to the point where you you would hire them and find them how you can uh, accelerate your expansion path, for instance, that you hadn't planned on. So your plans change um, when you when you bump into that individual that uh, has that. That you know, there's a whole lot to it too. Just because your brain tells you it's the person that can help you um, do what you your mission is. Um, it may turn out, it may turn south really quick, but um, understanding that will make you a better employer and, uh, and, and make some better employees. One of the, the greatest things that I ever learned in the hiring process is, and in, in those that we did get a chance to hire, is that we just want to turn them out the gate, no matter what better with a higher level of skills than what they came with and if that goes to a competitor or to somebody else then we and and they're bettering themselves then that's the greatest thing you can offer to them and uh, <clears throat> one of the things that um, trying to keep the mentality within the business was that even though I was the owner, m mostly the sole owner or partial owner of, of these businesses, um, you're actually there to serve your employees. If you serve your employees well, then they will serve your customers. And it, it looks a little bit different in a production agricultural situation, but it's the same thing but it looks different. So, and I mean, I've just picked it up through the school of hard knocks <laughs> and, uh, um, and, and then, then watching other people. I became a, a, a you know, a, a, those people that had those kinds of skills that always seem to hire the right people, those are people to study and learn from. And uh, that's what we're talking about in, in good member mentorship. They don't even have to be, they don't have to realize that you're, you have them as a mentor. So um, a lot of good people will share a lot of good information and enjoy the fact that you are bettering your business and yourself, um, not maybe even knowing that they have much to do with it. So I wish you well. Um, it's an exciting part of the business once you get into it and, and you take it on and you feel like you're a service leader. Um, serving others is really, really important and take that seriously and in, in, uh, uh, with intentionality. So I wish you very, all the well. Um, everything doesn't work exactly the way we think it should when you're dealing with people, but they are still the most important part of your business. Your family, your friends, your employees and staff, and what we like to refer to as our team. Um, in order to be really effective employees, they have to be treated like a tem team member. I found that out. And uh, just want to transfer that to you. Um, maybe you'll pick up a few other things. I think you will. And, and most of it, I'm going to draw upon some of the, the history that you all have in, the, in your employment and I may be sitting on both sides of the fence. So I wish you well. Let me know if you have, ever have any questions on this or any other subject that we deal with in this class, which is pretty wide open. So uh, I enjoy visiting with you and, and thank you for all the help. It takes a team to run a class like this, and I enjoy it immensely. So over and out, we'll talk to you soon.